Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. Glory to you, our God. Glory to you. O Heavenly King, the Comforter, Spirit of Truth, everywhere present and filling all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and dwell in us, cleanse us from every impurity, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit us and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Lord of mercy, and Lord of mercy, and Lord of mercy, and Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, and Lord of mercy, and Lord of mercy, and Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, and Lord of mercy, and Lord of mercy, and Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Blessed are you, O Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, and crowns you with steadfast love and tender mercy. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, slow to anger and of great goodness. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Blessed are you, O Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have been. Put not your trust in princes and sons of men, in whom there is no salvation. When their breath departs, they return to their earth. On that very day all their plans perish. Blessed is the one whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who made heaven and earth the sea, and all that is in them. The Lord sets the prisoners free. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed low. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the sojourners. He upholds the widow and the orphan. But the way of the wicked he brings to ruin. The Lord will reign forever, your God, O Zion, to all generations. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Only begotten Son and Word of God, you are immortal. For our salvation you deign to be incarnate. 
of the holy birth giver of God and ever Virgin Mary, and without change became man. You were crucified, Christ God trampling down death by death. You are one of the holy trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit, save us. In your kingdom remember us, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people shall revile you and persecute you and speak all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. Holy Apostles, pray to the merciful God that our souls may be granted forgiveness of sins. Illumined in mind by the light of abstinence, you were radiant with miracles, O Father Hilarion. You became a shining pillar of godliness and enlightened the faithful who came to you. Glory to him who has strengthened you. Glory to him who has crowned you. Glory to him who through you works healings for all. Lord, you have taken them up to eternal rest and the enjoyment of your good things, the preachers of divine truths, the apostles. For you have accepted their struggles and death as a sacrifice. For you know the secrets of hearts. Holy One in Myra, you have shown yourself to be a priestly servant. Venerable, you have fulfilled the gospel of Christ, giving up your soul for your people, and saving the innocent from death. For this reason you have been sanctified, by the great mystery of the grace of God. We gather today and praise you with hymns as a light of the spiritual sun. For you with those in the darkness of ignorance and raised all to divine heights. And so we cry to you, Rejoice, Hilarion, summit of ascetics. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, with your sins, O Christ, give rest to the souls of your departed servants, where there is neither pain, sorrow, nor sighing, but life everlasting. Now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. Protection of Christians who is not put to shame, unchanging mediation before the Creator. Despise not the voice of sinners' prayers, but because you are good, quickly come to help us who call on you in faith. Speedily intercede and hastily supplicate, birth giver of God, who always protects those who honor you. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Siati Boje, Siati Kripki, Siati Besmetni, Pomilor in us. God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have, have, have mercy on us. Their voice has gone out into all the earth, and their words to the myriads of the world. The heavens declare the glory of God and creation proclaims the work of his hands. The reading from the epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Ephesians. Brethren, nevertheless, let each one of you in particular so love his own wife as himself, and let the wife see that she respects her husband. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with you, and you may live long on the earth. And you, fathers, do not provoke your children to wrath, but bring them up in the training and admonition of the Lord. Bondservants, be obedient to those who are your masters according to the flesh, with fear and trembling, in sincerity of heart as to Christ, not with eye service, as men-pleasers, but as bond-servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart, with good will doing service to, as to the Lord, and not to men, knowing that whatever good anyone does, he will receive the same from the Lord, whether he is a slave or free. And you masters do the same things to them, giving up threatening, knowing that your own master also is in heaven and there is no partiality with him. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Lord, the heaven shall declare your wonders and your truth in the assembly of the saints. Alleluia. 
Sion, Alleluia. God is glorified in the council of the saints. Alleluia. 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 The reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. John answered, Master, we saw a man casting out demons in your name, and we forbade him because he does not follow with us. But Jesus said to him, Do not forbid him, for he that is not against us is for us. When the days drew near for him to be received up, he set his face to go to Jerusalem. And he sent messengers ahead of him, who went and entered a village of the Samaritans, to make ready for him. But the people would not receive him, because his face was set toward Jerusalem. And when his disciples James and John saw it, they said, Lord, do you want us to bid fire come down from heaven and consume them? But Jesus rebuked them, and, and they went on to another village. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Remember us, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Remember us, O Master, when you come into your kingdom. Remember us, O Holy One, when you come into your kingdom. The choirs of heaven chant to you and say, Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord God of Sabaoth. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Approach, be enlightened, and you will not be made to blush. The choirs of holy archangels and angels, with all the bodiless powers of heaven chanting you, saying, Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord God of Sabaoth. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, being of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man, who was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And on the third day he rose from the dead in accordance with the scriptures and ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. O Lord our God, who by a word alone healed all diseases, who cured the kinswoman of Peter of fever, you that chastise with pity and heal according to your goodness, who are able to put aside every sickness and infirmity. May you, the same Lord, grant aid to your servants, all the residents of the St. Pantaleon ministry, who are ill and afflicted, all of our relatives, loved ones, and friends, those who have asked us to remember them in our prayers, unworthy though our prayers may be especially Father Daniel, Father John, Father Mark, Matushka Catherine, Matushka Myra, the monk Meletius, 
Ross, Justin, Stephen, Mary and Roger, Nancy, Claire, Patricia, Mark, Nikolai, Anastasia, Alice, Kathleen, Denise, Denise, Pamela, Robert, Peter, Eric, Michael, Melissa, Mary Ann, Ryan, Joanne, Rosemary, Mary Ann, Emily, Charles, Hank, Nicholas, Katrina, Mary Jane, Nicholas, Alicia, Mary Jo, Clara, Joan, Sarah, Alex, Nicholas, Barbara, Margaret, Patricia, Danielle, Nicholas, Christopher, Tricia, Susan, Christopher, Susan, Kathleen, Walter, Patty, Darlene, George, Paul, Michael, Pantalitza, Darina, Barbara, Diane, Catherine, Ioan, Elizabeth, Anastaina, Robert, Timothy, Diana, Diana, Artemis, Jackie, Lisa, Sean, and Natalie, and all those we cannot call to mind, and those who have no one to pray for them, and cure them of every sickness of which they are grieved, and send down upon them your great mercy. And if it be your will, give to them health and a complete recovery. For you are the physician of our souls and bodies, and to you we send up glory. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Christ, our eternal King and God, you have destroyed death and the devil by your cross, and have restored man to life by your resurrection. Give rest, O Lord, to the souls of your servants, all the residents of the St. Pantaleon ministry who have departed this life, all of our departed relatives, loved ones, and friends, those who are newly departed, especially Father Anastasi and Adi, and all those we cannot call to mind, and indeed all those who have departed this life throughout the ages, in your kingdom where there is no pain, sorrow, or suffering, in your goodness and love for mankind, pardon all the sins they have committed in thought, word, or deed. For there is no one who lives and sins not. You only are without sin. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your servants who have departed this life, O Christ our God. And to you we send up glory. With your eternal Father and your all-holy, good, and life-creating Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O God, absolve, remit, and pardon our voluntary and involuntary sins, in word and deed, known and unknown, by day and by night, in mind and thought. Forgive us all, in your goodness and love for the human race. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Duam nemilu yashte, duam nemilu yashte, duam nemilu yashte. Kiri eleison, kiri eleison, kiri eleison. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. All Holy Trinity, co-essential might, kingdom undivided, source of all good, be gracious to me, a sinner. Establish and give understanding to my heart. Remove every defilement from me. Enlighten my mind, that I may continually glorify. Chant hymns and worship you, saying, one is holy, one is Lord Jesus Christ. To the glory of God the Father. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore.
I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be continually in my mouth. My soul will be praised by the Lord. Let the meek hear and be glad. Magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and he delivered me out of all my troubles. Come to him and be radiant, and your faces will not be ashamed. This poor man called, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord will camp around those who feed and will deliver them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who hopes in him. Fear the Lord, all you his saints, because those who fear him lack nothing. The rich become poor and hungry, but those who seek the Lord will not be in want of anything good. It is truly proper to bless you, birth giver of God, ever blessed and most pure and the mother of our God more honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without defilement you gave birth to God the Word. True birth giver of God, we magnify you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, O Lord bless. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.